In the beginning, Hong Kong-based company Li and Fung simply served as a broker, earning commissions by bringing buyers and sellers together. When that model became obsolete in 1975, the company evolved into three different stages which we will cover in detail. First, as a regional sourcing agent. Second, as a manager and deliverer of manufacturing programs. And finally, today, as a leader in dispersed manufacturing. First, as a regional sourcing agent, Li and Fung's strategy was simply to extend its geographic reach outside Hong Kong and into Taiwan, Korea, and Singapore. Li and Fung's knowledge of the region added value to its customers since, for example, knowing whether textile quotas are maxed out in Hong Kong tells you when to start buying from Taiwan. In the second stage, as a manager and deliverer of manufacturing programs, customers would approach Li and Fung with certain traits about a product and in turn, Li and Fung would put together an assortment of products in a program for the customer to approve. Finally, in its third stage, Li and Fung adopted the model of dispersed manufacturing. The concept was simply to base all the upfront and back end logistical components of manufacturing in Hong Kong and to outsource the middle labor intensive portion to other more efficient and effective countries. This model brought about huge changes in the Asian economy. First, it brought Hong Kong back to relevance, moving the country from 21st to 8th in the world for trading. Second, the model's international network of labor countries and logistic countries cut costs for its customers, which Li and Fung call the soft $3. For example, even if shipping costs increased because a shipping container was only half full, the manufacturing process as a whole might still be cheaper because of the efficiencies of outsourcing the labor. Through these three stages of evolution, Li and Fung came to its dominance today.